four dollars. Endless on two eighty on the tote. Meal ticket five twenty on the tote. And the Barracuda is on the third line of betting four forty on the tote. Four eighty in the ring. So hey hey my my, who's uh, thirteen into ten in the ring. Third start since moving to Toowoomba. Yes, thank you very much to Gavin and a big welcome to our Sky audience uh, to uh, Clifford Park Toowoomba, eight uh, race P1 program to get us underway, running on a soft six. We had six mil of rain overnight here to track uh, beautiful condition. The last couple getting set for this opening race where the favourite is Endless Don, number two, but the best back runner, number 11, mil ticket, the first emergency, got a run for this uh, formidable combination of Bo Apo and Ben Curry. Double figures was bet early this morning. Got as low as 360. Now back out to 420 in the ring. $5 on the tote for meal ticket. And he's the last one to go forward. And the line will be complete for our opening race. The Toowoomba Portable Toilets Maiden played over the 1625 here at Clifford Park. Light goes on as we welcome everyone to the coverage of our Provincial One meeting today at Clifford Park and the gates are back and they're away in the first and hey hey my my began well. The Barracuda ridden a bit more positive to lead today to go up outside of it and running in third place then is Endless Don. Wider out on the track there is a Special Man as they work into the back straight. They're followed even wider on the track by another one going forward and that's Meal Ticket. The heavily backed commodity go to go up outside of Hey Hey My My. As they go down the dip now. Hey Hey My My in front of Meal Ticket just steady. Special Man is third. And fourth is the Barracuda. Fifth is the uh, Rockhampton Philly on the inside in uh, fifth place in our sights. As they start to climb the hill now. Endless Don's got back to sixth but seems to have settled well. Next on the inside has come over Joe followed by Siebling. Third last then Dew Porch and chasing Wagtails at the tail of the field. Down the side they travel now and it's hey hey my my at a third start since moving to Toowoomba leads past the wheat would stand by a half length of meal ticket the three year old did a bit of work at his first run at 1600 but he's there on the outside but they're just cranking it up now and he's come off the bit going around them goes the Barracuda followed by special man endless Don is close enough if good enough they're followed by in our sights getting well back Siebling will be hooked the widest and come over Joe Ju Porsche and chasing Wagtails on the point of the turn now and it's hey hey my my grabbed by the Barracuda who went on by but Endless Don has now arrived on the scene to go out after the Barracuda and then Siebling running on down the outside Endless Don moved up on the outside of the Barracuda, they're having a ding dong go and then Siebling up for third here's a head bobbing finish, it's the Barracuda kicking back on the inside and I think he's edged out Endless Don it's very close though, third will be uh, Siebling and fourth in our sights, followed by Come Over Joe then came Special Man Jew Porch, Mill Ticket Failed at the 16.25, as did Hey Hey My My. They finished amongst the also rans and chasing Wagtail's last one home. A close finish here. And I thought the inside may have uh, just bobbed the Barracuda. But Endless Don on the outside is very close. So we'll just stand by for the number. The overall time is 1.41 and 12. So they're about... Uh, eight tenths outside the class record but it was a good honest gallop right throughout and the leaders did fold up and the winner goes to number five the Barracuda on the inside has just lasted to win fighting back strongly to beat two endless Don three C bling is third and fourth home going to number ten in our sights officially fifth to one come over Joe so five the Barracuda rallying strongly as endless Don Loomed up on the outside and looked uh, set to go on by, but uh, Ryan Plum, well, he was the second person I ran into today, and he suggested that they'd ride this three-year-old a little bit more positively. He got a long way back at Warwick last start and ran on strongly to run second. And he was in a beautiful attacking position right throughout today and uh, got to the lead in the early part of the straight, Endless Don alongside, and there was a great battle all the way down the straight here. But the Barracuda prevailing to win by a nose, winning margin a nose in the first, five, two, three, and 10. As we mentioned, Matt Cropp had a treble on this day, this meeting last year, which was on a Friday night. 
And he's trained the first one here, a three-year-old by Tycoon Ruler, and has really been working up to a win. Caught the eye at Dolby first up. When I first uh, came to my notice, then a great runner at to Warwick, and has followed that up by stepping to the 16.25 here, which is not an easy task as a three-year-old at only a fourth race start. But he's done it and done it well, particularly that last uh, 50 metres when he was challenged strongly. And I'd suggest Endless Don perhaps even got a half head in front. It was just a bob of the head in the end. A nose by four and a half lengths. The Barracuda is a by, raced by the Pistons Punters Club, a three-year-old by Tycoon Ruler, the Australian Guineas runner-up who's having a, a bumper season here in Queensland this year, and particularly here at uh, Clifford Park with uh, winners like Fair Ruler and Tamagens Queen, and we'll see Thinky Saurus later on, and Selfie, and in Brisbane, Jopers going so great guns. And uh, this fellow stepped to the 16.25, so another dimension. Out of the mare, Bitter Silk, she had five wins and she won up to 2,200. So certainly has got a staying pedigree there. Matt Crop, that's his 17th provincial winner. And Ryan Plum, his uh, ninth provincial winner since his uh, move to Queensland from uh, Victoria. Second to two, Endless Don. So close, second again. And... Uh, I'm sure his turn will not be too far off for Brad Stewart and Peter and Will Holbert. And third in the race to number three, Siebling, running on well. And ironically, that's his fourth third placing in a row for Sky Bogan Huber and Billy and Dale Healy. Fourth home to number 10 in our sights, a three-year-old filly, running on well at the finish. But all the action was up front with this pair singling out to stage a great battle in our opening race today. Five, two, three and ten.